Hello and welcome to my channel and in this video I will be explaining you how to set up your Spring Boot Gradle project with the latest dependencies and I will also be explaining you how to initialize the Firebase admin SDK uh, for our ProDate project. So without wasting any more time, let's begin. So we'll open our Intel IJ and we'll create a new project. For this uh, video series I will be creating the project name as ProDate and uh, it will be a Java language and the build system will be Gradle. We will be using JDK 17 for it and the Gradle DSL will DSL will be groovy and you can check in the advanced settings the wrapper will be 8.2 version and it's the latest version and it's all the things are compatible with Gradle 17 and we'll click on create. So now that you have created your project what you need to do is add two plugins that will be the Spring Framework .boot and version 3.1.5 and dot, uh, your spring dependency management uh, version 1.1.3 so these are all the latest version that we will be using with java 17 and uh, in the dependency you need to implement the spring boot web starter okay so this is the dependency and uh, the gradle once we'll check it that the gradle is 8.2 uh, version and in the main file what you will do is uh, you will add two things that is your spring boot application and component scan and in this main class what you will do is spring application dot run so this effectively sets up the entire uh, spring boot and we'll check and run it once so now that you can see that our spring has been initialized and it's working perfectly fine and the hello world message is also coming the next step that we need to do is import our firebase admin sdk into our java project so if you have not created or not followed up on the video previous video that we created a firebase project you can check out on the link above and you can follow along so what you need to do is go to project settings and click on the service accounts in the service accounts you will see firebase admin sdk and you will scroll down and click on the java version you'll click on generate a new private key and you need to create the generate key so this will download a file so after downloading the admin sdk.json file you need to import it in your uh, project itself it will simply work by copy pasting it to your base project and after that uh, what we'll do is we'll go to the build.gradle file and we'll add a new dependency that would be uh, firebase admin sdk and it's again set to the latest version of admin sdk that you can find on their official documentation and post that what you need to do is open create a new file that will be your uh, firebase config in the in your configuration package and here what you will do is import this is the entire code that you need to write uh, to get this thing started and to get the firebase initial i'll walk you through it so this is a configurational class that we have created that is a firebase config and in this the post construct annotation is being used. what is post construct it's basically uh, it tells the uh, Spring Boot application that this post construct uh, method should be run as soon as your uh, Spring Boot is being setting up. Okay, so this is really crucial to set it to post construct before because this will be running your application. This will be running this initializing before your application starts. Okay, so it's it's necessary. And in this, what we are doing is we are adding your uh, Google credentials and we are importing it from the file that we have added and the path that we have set to dot slash and the file name okay so if you have copy pasted your uh, admin sdk.json file in the base class itself base folder structure itself then you can definitely use the dot slash and, and that and here uh, the next line will be to build these credentials and to get the firebase options out of it and after that this is the most crucial line that sets up and initializes the firebase uh, that is the firebase app initialize app and the options that we are passing from the credentials so this effectively sets up our entire uh, firebase and we will just run it once to see if everything is working fine yes so it, it is working fine and you are not getting any error so if at this moment in time you are getting any error so there might be a problem in you setting up the path of this uh, file so now that we have set up all the firebase dependency and the spring boot starter as well uh, in the next video what we will be doing is we'll be creating 
the create user API and I will be telling you how you need to pass the JW to DJ JWT token or the ID token in the authorization and how to authenticate whether this user is valid or not. Okay, so stay tuned and for the next video and do press the subscribe button uh, to follow up and yeah, all the best and happy coding guys.